This podcast is for residual volume and the BTPS correction factor. Um, so the equation we're going to be working with for this lab is, first of all, we have residual volume. Um, this is residual volume in liters equals the um, initial volume of oxygen in the spirometer in liters times equilibrium fraction of nitrogen um, divided by the initial fraction of nitrogen in the lung, which is always going to be 0.79 minus the equilibrium fraction of nitrogen. And the other equation we're going, be, we're going to be working with is the equation for the BTPS correction factor. Um, the volume that we're actually going to be measuring is the volume um, a, a short distance outside of the lungs, but the point of this equation is to correct that volume back to the volume in the lung. So what we have here is body temperature in degrees Celsius plus 273 kelvins divided by the temperature of the air that we're measuring in degrees Celsius plus 273 kelvins um, all, multiple, all multiplied by barometric pressure minus water vapor pressure at the temperature of the air that we're measuring divided by barometric pressure minus 47 millimeters of mercury. Okay, so an example equation for RV would be um, the initial spirometer volume of oxygen is 4.5 liters. The initial uh, fraction of nitrogen in the spirometer is zero because it's full of 100% oxygen. Then the equilibrium fraction of nitrogen is 0.19, and as we already went over, the initial fraction of nitrogen in the lung is 0.79. Okay, so we have RV in liters equals 4.5 liters times 0.19 all divided by 0.79 minus 0.19 and this comes out to be 1.45 liters okay and moving right along, we have um, we have to take that volume and we have to uh, multiply it by the BTPS correction factor. And in order to um, to get that correction factor, we need to know the ambient air conditions. So what we have here is body temperature is always going to equal 37 degrees Celsius. The temperature the temperature of the air that we're measuring equals 23 degrees Celsius and water vapor pressure at that temperature equals 21 millimeters of mercury. And there's a conversion table in the lab manual to get that number. And barometric pressure equals 735 millimeters of mercury. So putting all of that into the um, BTPS correction factor equation, we have 37 degrees Celsius plus 273 Kelvins, all over 23 degrees Celsius plus 273 Kelvins, multiplied by 700. 35 millimeters of mercury minus 21 millimeters of mercury 
all divided by 735 minus 47. Okay, and that should come out to be 1.047 is what we should have on the left side multiplied by 1.038 on the right side which should come out to be 1.087 now keep in mind for this correction factor the number should always be just a little bit above one or just a little bit below one so anywhere from one to um, probably about 1.10 or 1.11 or it can get down probably as low as 0 0.9 um, maybe 0 0.94 or 0.95 but if you have a number that's anywhere outside of that range then you, you probably did something wrong okay so now taking the residual volume that we just calculated and correcting that to um, the BTPS residual volume, we would simply take 1.45 liters and multiply that by the BTPS correction factor, which will change our residual volume just a little bit to 1.58.